Hello, everyone. Anayarukum vanakkum, malai vanakkum. Good evening, everyone. I hope uh, all are doing fine. Uh, please, can you take it up? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. So, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Vijay. Um, one of the co-founders of uh, Shop Awareness Private Limited and YSA Market and Urj Organization. Um, on behalf of YSA team, uh, I welcome you all for the uh, wonderful uh, seminar, uh, I mean, uh, webinar. Uh, before we get to the speaker, I just wanted to uh, say a few words. Um, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for everyone joining at this time. Um, uh, I think most of you know about YSA market, but let me give you an intro. Um, just a couple of years back, uh, you know, uh, we started this uh, uh, project um, called uh, our Shop Awareness. And uh, we, right now, we are branding into a new variant of the YSA market. So basically what we do is, you know, our primary objective is we wanted to um, empower traditional farmers. So, uh, traditional farmers, I uh, mean, Pandrana, um, if a parambarema versa in Pandranga, in the procurement wangi, other scientific test funny, uh, urge the verification have been over testing process and other uh, companies. So, on the testing method, Sala pass on the pro, and a team of uh, scientists will approve that uh, product. Once we get that product approved, and we are selling it through online. Uh, in the brand of YSA market. So, if we are doing this, customer who is looking for a quality project, quality product, will have a verification or a certification. Kadekadu. So, because uh, in the quality product, we are saying that we are going to talk about organic, but we are going to talk about the quality verification process. So, Adanara, we come up with this uh, Urj concept, Urj verification concept. So, Apriza Nanga Urj on the frame for now. So, as a selling platform, Adam, YSA market of being risen and also. So, in the process, la, ipo empowerment of farmers, the traditional farming, uh, Pandrangal down the Nanga, uh, Rumba Angla, and the increase Pandrang. Every increase Pandrana, only take a price and other Kurkum. You know, Adakunda and Nama. Uh, value and the value add funny, Namaz Kunda Nam for Sunday Ed Pantherapa, Aunga Vandi, they are uh, motivated to do more uh, farming. So, Apriza Nama empower Panamudu, Abringer than other in the concept version and work for Nitruko. So, part of this concept is in the awareness when they Naria Pay to reach Agano, Abringer or Idala Vandila, Nana, we started uh, uh, the uh, program called the In the Mary Webinar, in the Mary Naria. Marketing speech from Panla being so little. We, we started with this webinar. So, Abhi Park Rappa in the webinar, uh, we have a wonderful speaker, um, Dr. Pradeep Chalil. Dr. Pradeep Chalil, Pati Solunona, you know, first of all, he's a very humble and grounded person. I know him personally uh, for many years. Um, US Lananga sent an area project work on Irkon, area health and wellness uh, um, seminar host on Irkon, workshop host on Irkon. And he is uh, one of the co founder of Taxi Foundation, which is a non profit organization. And he is running schools or doing charities. So, he is a very single family. And he is a very single consultant. So, we are happy to have him to work with the Woods here. So, now, in the Woods, he is a very single person. In the pandemic time, Naria Perica or Naria, we get Naria customer and Naria feedback. So, for example, Endamari food in the in the timeline to plan. Are the immunity every now either Panala and Kis Panikla, Bingramari? Every quality of food and every Nama can be preserved. So, in the in the Mari questions, answer Pandramari, he prepared a speech. So, the Pradit Kalil Pati Solnona. He is one of the, you know, to me, he is, you know, he is a rare find. Yeah, we told him now. He is having a lot of uh, traditional knowledge. Or a traditional knowledge, wisdom, person. At the same time, 
அவங்க அவங்களோட கரிக்குலம் சொல்லணும்னா ஐ மீன் ஒரு ரெண்டு மூணு பேஜ் கூட பார்த்தா ஸோ அந்த அளவுக்கு நிறைய டாக்டரேட் நிறைய பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் வச்சிருக்காங்க நல்ல ஒரு ட்ரெடிஷ்னல் நாலேஜ் மட்டும் இல்லாம அத வந்து மாடர்ன் சயின்ஸ் ஏத்த மாதிரி ஒரு சயின்டிபிக் எவிடென்ஸோட ஒரு விஷயத்த பிரசன்ட் பண்ண முடியும்னா ஐ திங்க் பிரதிபால மட்டும்தான் பண்ண முடியும் டுமி ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி ஒரு 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 பேக்ரவுண்ட் உள்ள ஒரு ஒரு ஒன் ஆஃப் த லீடிங் சயின்டிஸ்ட் இன் யூஎஸ் ஸோ வி ஆர் ஹாப்பி டு ஹேப் ஹிம் ஃபார் திஸ் வெபினார் ஸோ விதவுட் ஃபர்தர் டியூ ஹெல்ப் மீ வெல்கம் டாக்டர் பிரதீப் சலே ஓவர் டு யூ டாக்டர் பிரதீப் screen தெரியுது எல்லாருக்கும் So now we we have given permission to share this one. Can you try it now? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, slide. We are close for this. PowerPoint. PowerPoint. So meanwhile, uh, uh, if you guys have any question, you can type it in the box and uh, uh, we'll uh, compile everything and then we'll answer you guys. Welcome. It is a pleasure again to meet you all in this uh, meeting. We have a topic on the super vaccine for all diseases. Food up at the So, if you have a topic on WhatsApp, you can discuss the topic of vaccination. You can see the time of the side effects. You can see the time of the side effects. You can see the time of the side effects. You can see the time of the side effects. You can see the time of the side effects. So, if you want to go into a detail, you can see the time of the side effects. Vaccination. என்ன பண்ணதுன்னா நம்ம பாடியோட இம்யூனிட்டிய வந்து ஒர்க் பண்ண வைக்குது எப்படின்னா ஆன்டிபாடிஸ வந்து வைரஸ டிஸ்ட்ராய் பண்ற மாதிரி பண்ண வைக்கிறதா வேக்சினோட வேலை சோ நேச்சுரலா நம்ம வந்து ஒரு வைரஸ் வந்து நம்ம உடம்புல வந்துருச்சுன்னா நம்ம நேச்சுரலா நம்ம பாடி பாடியோட இம்யூன் சிஸ்டம் அந்த வைரஸ டிஸ்ட்ராய் பண்றதுக்காக ஆன்டிபாடிஸ ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் இது வந்து நேச்சுரலா வர்றதுக்கு முன்னாடியே நம்ம வந்து வேக்சினேஷன் வழியாகவும் இதே மாதிரிதான் பண்றோம் வைரஸ பாடிக்குள்ளார கொண்டு வந்து இம்யூன் சிஸ்டத்தை வச்சு ஆன்டிபாடிஸ ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ண வைக்கிறது தான் வேக்சினேஷன் சோ அதனால அந்த வழியில பாத்துட்டோம்னா வேக்சினேஷன் உறுதியா நல்லதுதான் 
பட் ஆனா அதே நேரத்துல இன்னைக்கு சயின்டிபிக் எவிடன்ஸ் சிலது வருது வேக்சினேஷன்னால சீரியஸ் சைடு எஃபெக்ட்ஸும் இருக்கு இப்போ இது பிபிசி நியூஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் நேத்திக்கு வந்த நியூஸ் தான் ஹார்ட் இன்ஃபிளமேஷன் லிங்க் டு வேக்சினேஷன் அப்படின்னு அவங்க பண்ணியிருக்காங்க ஸோ இது சயின்டிஃபிக்கா இன்னைக்கு நிறைய நியூஸ் வருது இந்த மாதிரி இன்ஃபிளமேஷன் அதிகமாயி வேக்சினேஷன்னால நிறைய ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இருக்கு அதே மாதிரி தான் பிரிட்டிஷ் மெடிக்கல் ஜேர்னல் அவங்க இன்வெஸ்டிகேட் பண்ணியிருக்காங்க எல்டர்லி பீப்புள்ல வேக்சினேஷனுக்கு அப்புறம் அவங்க இறந்ததோட காரணத்தை எல்லாம் பார்த்துருக்காங்க அதுல ஒண்ணுதான் புரியுது முதல்ல என்ன குழப்பம்னா வேக்சினேஷன் எடுத்து ஒரு ப்ராப்ளமும் இல்லாதவங்க இருக்காங்க வேக்சினேஷன் எடுத்த பின்னாடி திடீர்னு இறப்புல இருந்து இருதய நோய் அதே மாதிரிதான் லங் டேமேஜ் பிரெயின் டேமேஜ் கிட்னி டேமேஜ் அப்படின்னு பல டேமேஜ்களையும் பார்த்திருக்காங்க பட் ஒண்ணு கிளியரா இந்த ஸ்டடி மூலம் என்ன பாக்குறோம்னா இது இந்த வேக்சினோட சைடு எஃபெக்ட் அல்லாட்டி அதோட போஸ்ட் டேமேஜ் இதுக்கும் நம்மளோட கட் பாக்டீரியாக்கும் நல்ல கனெக்ஷன் இருக்கு அதுதான் இந்த பிரிட்டிஷ் மெடிக்கல் ஜேர்னல்ல சமீபத்துல அவங்க ஜான்வரி டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அவங்க ஸ்டடி பண்ண ரிப்போர்ட் தான் இங்க நான் காமிக்கிறேன் இதுல என்ன ஆகுதுன்னா இப்ப நீங்க இந்த படத்துல பார்த்தா உங்களுக்கு கிளியரா தெரியும் வேக்சினேஷன் எடுக்கிற போது நம்மளோட இம்யூன் செல்ஸ் பி செல் டி செல் நல்லா இருக்கு ஒயிட் பிளட் செல்ஸ பத்தி உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் அந்த இம்யூன் செல்ஸ் என்ன பண்ணா இந்த வைரஸ வந்து வேக்சின்ல வரும்போது அத அதுக்கு எகேன்ஸ்ட் ஆன்டிபாடி ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணது அதான் இங்க ஒய் மாதிரி சிம்பிள்ல பாக்கலாம் ஐஜிஜி நல்லா நீங்க கேள்விப்பட்டிருப்பீங்க ஏன்னா இன்னைக்கு ஆன்டிபாடி டெஸ்ட் எல்லாம் நம்மள நம்ம எடுக்கிறோம் சோ இந்த ஆன்டிபாடி வந்து உடனே ப்ரொடியூஸ் ஆயிடுது ப்ரொடியூஸ் ஆன பின்னாடி அது வந்து எவ்வளவு தூரம் அதோட எஃபெக்ட் வந்து இருக்குங்கிறது இந்த நம்ம கட் பாக்டீரியா நம்ம பெரிய குடல் இருக்குல்ல லார்ஜ் இன்டெஸ்டைன் அதுல நிறைய பாக்டீரியா பங்கை வைரஸ் இது எல்லாமே அங்க இருக்கு இந்த கட் மைக்ரோபயோட்டா அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இதுதான் தீர்மானிக்குது இந்த வேக்சினோட எஃபெக்ட் என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னு இப்போ இந்த கட் மைக்ரோபயோம் வந்து அவங்க வந்து அவங்க நம்ம சாப்பிட்ற உணவை எடுத்து மெட்டபலைஸ் பண்ணி மெட்டபலைட்ஸ ரிலீஸ் பண்ணும் அது செகண்டரி பயலாசிட்ஸ்ன்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இந்த செகண்டரி பயலாசிட்ஸ் வந்து ஒரு பேலன்ஸ கொண்டு வந்துரும் எக்ஸஸ் இன்ஃபிளமேஷன் வந்துருச்சுன்னா அதை கட்டுப்படுத்துறது வந்து இந்த பயலாசிட்ஸ் சோ வேக்சின் எடுத்த பின்னாடி வேக்சின் நல்லதுக்கு தான் எடுக்கிறோம் நம்ம உடம்புல ஆன்டிபாடி ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் இருக்கணும் கொரோனா மாதிரி வைரஸுக்கு எகேன்ஸ்ட் ஒர்க்கை நம்ம பாடிய பாதுகாக்கணும் அது நல்ல விஷயம் தான் ஆனா அந்த ஆன்டிபாடி ப்ரொடியூஸ் ஆகி ஓவர இன்ஃபிளமேஷன் டேமேஜ் வந்துருச்சுன்னா எல்லாருக்கும் இல்ல ஒரு சிலருக்கு வந்து அந்த டேமேஜ் மூலம் அந்த வேக்சின்னால அவங்களுக்கு ப்ராப்ளம் வர்றது அவங்க கட் பாக்டீரியனால தான் அப்படின்னு தான் இப்ப கிளியரா சயின்டிபிக் எவிடன்ஸ் வருது சோ இதுல நம்ம என்ன பாக்குறோம்னா நம்ம குடல்ல லார்ஜ் இன்டெஸ்டைன்ல இருக்கிற பாக்டீரியா வச்சு ரெண்டு தன்மைகள் வரும் ஒண்ணு ஹெல்த் ஒண்ணு டிசீஸ் இந்த சைட்ல ரெட்ல பாக்குறது டிசீஸ் இந்த சைட்ல ப்ளூல பாக்குறது ஹெல்த் யூபயோசிஸ் டிஸ்பயோசிஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க அப்படின்னா என்னென்ன காரணங்கள்னால நம்ம கட் பாக்டீரியா நல்ல கட் மைக்ரோபயம் நல்ல பாக்டீரியா நல்ல ஃபங்கஸ் நல்ல வைரஸ் இருக்கும் எதுனால அது வந்து கெட்ட பாக்டீரியா கெட்ட ஃபங்கஸ் கெட்ட வைரஸ் வந்து உற்பத்தி ஆகுது அதனால என்னென்ன ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் வருது அப்படின்னு சோ இப்ப இங்க நீங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னா டிசி ஹெல்த்ல நமக்கு நல்லா தெரியும் நல்ல ஹெல்த்தி ஹேபிட்ஸ் ப்ரோபயோட்டிக்ஸ் ப்ரீபயோட்டிக்ஸ் ஃப்ரூட்ஸ் அண்ட் வெஜிடபிள் கன்சம்ஷன் சோ இன்னைக்கு ஒரு ரெண்டு நாள் முன்னாடி நான் வந்து வேர்ல்டோ மீட்டரை பாக்குறேன் வேர்ல்டோ மீட்டருங்கிற சைட்ல போனீங்கன்னா வேர்ல்டுல எல்லா கண்ட்ரீஸோட கொரோனா வைரஸ் கோவிட் வைரஸோட இன்ஃபெக்ஷன் நம்பர்ஸும் எவ்வளோ டெத் ரேட் இருக்குன்னு பாக்குறாங்க அதுல நம்ம பாக்குறது கரெக்டா பாக்கணும் அதுல நிறைய காலம்ஸ் இருக்கும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் காலம்ல வந்து நம்பரை வந்து எழுதுறாங்க சோ அந்த நம்பர்ல வந்து வெனியோ சி த நம்பர்ஸ் யூ வில் சி தட் அந்த நம்பர்ஸ்ல தி த அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் நம்பர் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் இன்ஃபெக்டட் வித் கோவிட் யூஎஸ் 
will be us and india are one and two in that ranking in that ranking if you see that both are more or less the same or india will be little higher but if you slightly move your eyes to the next two columns in the world of meter la adula uh, vandu what you see is per million which kanak paakara bodu us la the number of people who are infected and the number of people who are dying death rate is 10 times more than in india so one of the reason is the amount of fruit and vegetable consumption is very high in countries like us and also if you look in uh, india also kerala they have a lot more and one of the reason is the non vegetarian consumption is more the fruit and vegetable consumption is less so what happens is the probiotics and prebiotics are low so naturally there is more inflammation and when the gut microbiome is not good appo unde you will see a state called dysbiosis appo da namakku noy appadina solrom disease so what you can see here is hyperinflammation comorbidities appadina there are more reasons or more reasons for uh, the death polypharmacy inike nareya peru undu what is polypharmacy inike nareya peru oru noyikku மருந்து சாப்பிடுறத வந்து அதிகமாயிருச்சு பல மருந்துகள் அட் அ டைம் சாப்பிட வேண்டியதா இருக்கு அதான் பாலிஃபார்மசின்னு இப்ப சொல்றாங்க அப்படின்னா இன்னைக்கு நிறைய பேர் வந்து ஒரு டைம்லயே வந்து சுகருக்கு ப்ரெஷருக்கு தைராய்டுக்கு கேல்பிளாட் இருக்கு கிட்னி ஸ்டோன்ஸ்க்கு இப்ப கோவிடுக்கு இப்படி நிறைய ஃபார் மெனி டிசீசஸ் செவரல் மெடிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் டேக்கன் அட் அ டைம் தட் இஸ் கால் பாலிஃபார்மசி சோ ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் causing severe fatality in covid 19 so again i'm giving a picture where when the microbiota is healthy then when a virus attack is there then there is an effective immune response so adanalada mm-hmm. nareya perku confusion varudhu sila avangalukku when they have a covid uh, infection there is no big symptoms they don't have uh, they have only very mild fever mild body ache and uh, there is no big uh, problem and they get like a, a common cold or something but there are some people who have uh, post uh, covid complications where they have heart disease problem and all this uh, medical symptoms are seen and now it is becoming the picture is very clear now they are saying that that is because of this biosis so then what happens is the virus causes barrier disruption and instead of a balanced immune response there is cytokine storm and multi organ failure and they are seeing it so this is more seen in advanced age people with diabetes obesity hypertension because idellame all these diseases they have seen that there is a microbiota imbalance so when there is a imbalance of microbiota naturally several diseases will be seen in people there will be diabetes uh, obesity hypertension cardiovascular diseases if and now what happens is with the covid like infection those people will be severely affected because already they have a dysbiosis dysbiosis means not in balance microbiota is not in balance so again i'm quoting the most uh, all this information are coming from top journals like this is lancet where all the doctors publish their findings so now we are seeing what causes a change in microbial uh, microbial profile inga ninga paakala bacteria like u bacteria fecali bacterium lactobacillus and lactobacillus these are decreased healthier food is after they will be increased but what are the uh, bacteria that causes uh, during uh, diseases those bacteria which are here seen like a prostridium they increase pro inflammatory cytokines and that is how there is more inflammation inge you can see more sugar more dairy products 
more uh, meat and uh, non vegetarian food and very less of fruits and vegetables and whole foods now you can uh, you are all scared about a third wave affecting children so already the third wave is uh, forecasted and they say children will be more affected one of the reason is we have all, several times in our uh, shakti foundation talks and uh, shop awareness ysa market talks we have talked about how children uh, eat very unhealthy food whatever food that we are giving to children they have lot of chemicals in their uh, food they are eating right from baked breakfast cereals to drinks uh, sweets confectionery bakery items because you can see a list of all these chemicals flavors preservatives colors stabilizers emulsifiers enhancers fat replacers thickeners binders texturizers ph controllers leaveners you look at all these chemicals get into their body immediately you can see that their gut microbiome is imbalanced so now what happens is when a virus like covid mutates then there is a big chance that affecting already we have seen in elderly people who have dysbiosis they are affected severely even in young people who have dysbiosis they are more affected with the coronavirus as well as because of vaccination now the children will be more susceptible because of these factors so already i have mentioned that uh, post covid uh, conditions severely damage vital organs like uh, heart lungs and brain and now you have heard about black fungus already has been widely spreading because of pure, pure uh, poor immunity this poor immunity comes because of dysbiosis of gut microbiota then you have heard in the news now a vascular necrosis which is death of bone tissue due to lack of blood osteonecrosis apra adha thavara white fungus candida albicans aspergillosis so so many of these are coming so all this finally boiled down to one thing that whether you vaccinate or not vaccinate whether you are old or young it doesn't matter all that matters is your gut microbiota how balanced you have a gut microbiota determines whether you will have good immunity or not so already we know we are eating food for energy and to burn this food digestion na nam solrom le it is like burning the food like if you uh, the burn if the candle has to give light by burning oxygen is required but what happens is that oxygen does two damage it will help in our digestion of food meaning completely release of energy from our food but at the same time it will cause oxidative damage this oxidative damage is like we can see physically by looking at rust of iron things so iron gets rusted because of its reaction with oxygen same way our body gets aged because of rusting of uh, with a reaction with oxygen because we inhale oxygen to get complete energy from the food but at the same time we get rusted also like in a vehicle or anything different parts of the iron in a car or anything will get rusted and we give different names same way oxidative damage is only one but in different organs when when they come we call it as in different names i hope you have uh, you remember our previous talks where we have talked about this in uh, detail now again when it uh, happens when in pregnancy when women don't eat uh, this balanced some may be vegetarian a lot of people ask okay you are talking about non vegetarian but there are vegetarians they also have this same problem the reason is because just because you are vegetarian will not be sufficient the food has to be rich in certain nutrients which we will come back in the next few slides so when we eat food it is like 
we have to take food that are rich in antioxidants like paint if we want to prevent rusting we have to use paint so like uh, this uh, slide where when you cut an apple you will see within few minutes or hours there will be browning of the apple but if you uh, apply lemon juice then you won't see the browning because lemons have vitamin c which is which is an antioxidant so the damage when it occurs in different organs of the body or in cells then we call that as disease so vitamin c is rich in uh, gooseberries and lemons so that is why taking vitamin c in natural form not in uh, tablet form but in natural form has huge benefit not only that we have to eat unpolished rice most of us eat polished rice and also take polished uh, sugar not the unpolished so all this will disrupt or cause imbalance of gut microbiota now again one of the richest source of polyphenols are seeds and especially sesame seeds black seeds the oil that is extracted in modern way with expeller press or cold press which is chicken knife is very good antioxidant and it will cause balanced microbiota only if there is balanced microbiota then you won't have problems with vaccination or even if there is infection the inflammatory damage is reduced or protected by these polyphenols but how do we know whether the chicken knife or cold pressed oil is really having those properties or not is a big question so that is why how in as a scientist i have been doing a research on food more than 25 years and recently we developed pcr method for checking the quality of chicken knife or cold pressed oil now pcr is very popular word for everybody after corona rt pcr we know about it because that is the way only method by which somebody has covid attack corona virus or not that we take the rna and do rt pcr here we do dna and we do q pcr here you can see that the good sesame seeds give a signal very big and earlier and we checked many oils that are called the chicken knife two oils we took we have now more data but today i'm showing only two two are claimed as oil chicken knife but one shows signal that it is really chicken knife in pcr another one does not show so this is a way we can make sure whatever food that we are taking is of good quality now this is the approach we have been taking for for past 5 years we get from vendors that is farmers or food distributors we take that products and urj is a certified certification body it is actually more than certification it is a verification body it takes samples from the market send it in a coded form to testing labs and then get the results from them and then it verifies and give a report and then that report goes to uh, clients especially like ysa market and ysa market specifically procures those products which are really of good quality and then sell it to customers so this is how the whole process is going on and there is not just one testing we do many different angles of testing maybe sometime later in a next talk we can go on details if somebody is interested so in a nutshell again what we see is rich foods that are rich in this polyphenols now in west mediterranean style diet is very good because it contains black pepper 
then lot of fruits, lot of vegetables, like the traditional Indian way. And they use olive oil. And uh, here we use sesame oil and coconut oil. These are excellent oils rich in polyphenols. But if you buy refined oils or expeller pressed, they will be very poor in polyphenols. Then it will cause dysbiosis of gut bacteria. And also processed food. Uh, white rice, maida, and all the processed food, they also will cause dysbiosis. And I'm not going into the detail, but if you're interested, we can discuss it later, that it is the food that really makes it. But now the problem is, how do we know whether the food we buy from the market is really rich in these polyphenols? Because it is this polyphenols like compounds that make a food super rich, super rich in the sense it will help the antibody production in the body and also will regulate the WBC cells, the B cells, the T cells, which I have already shown. So they modulate or bring a balance. So they, these foods are really the super vaccines, we can say. We have to take a vaccine. We take only one dose or two dose or maximum three doses. But every day we need to take a vaccine, three times a day, I would say, and that is the food vaccine. Because this food vaccine contains all these chemicals, polyphenols, that we can see here from all these sources, and they actually modulate the gut bacteria. Not only we are preventing ourselves from attack of COVID-like viruses, don't worry, again, a lot of variants are coming, mutant virus are coming, uh, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave also can happen. Now, recently they are saying uh, Zika viruses now in Kerala. So all these viruses and bacteria will be continuously be emerging, but then is it possible to like now multiple tablets we are taking already, I, the medical field has given a term called polypharmacy. At a time, people are now taking more pills for many diseases. Now we will be under, in, under a time period where we will be taking multi-vaccines for multiple diseases. Instead, the best vaccine is our food because that's what science says. We have to trust the science. So according to scientific research, these polyphenols not only prevent us from infections, it is a best anti-cancer, it is anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, it improves cardiac health, it increases brain health, all this. So keep it in mind that the super vaccine is a food vaccine, minimum three doses a day, every day we have to take. Now, will, when you research on vaccines, you always ask the question, which vaccine is best? Because the vaccine you choose, you want to have the best immune response in your body because that is what is going to help and protect you. But are you asking the question, which food, which food is rich in polyphenols? Are we asking that question? very, very less people ask the question. So this, we are giving an awareness. Please ask whenever next time you go to the supermarket or grocery, find out where, where it, which food is rich in polyphenols. Don't just go for some uh, vitamin supplements or some foods like blueberry, broccoli. No, we are not eating that every day, but we are consuming rice, and many spices like a turmeric. Uh, every day we, when we make sambar, we are using asafoetida, we use cumin. All this should be very rich in polyphenols. Ask that food, try to see that, and that is how we are come up with this urge verification because the role of uh, urge verification is to see, to help consumers like us to have the best vaccine 
three times for a day for us and for our family now again i am ending up with this slide uh, again they have proven very clearly gut microbiome and covid 9 severity there is a big link they found only recently but our traditional siddhas and ayurvedic rishis have clearly said unave marand if you don't eat the food really high quality in polyphenols then we will have to eat medicines as food so to end up please take food as super vaccine so that it will help the team in the gut microbiome team which will be the really the ones which will help our immune system to produce high quality immunity by producing antibodies not only antibodies but all the uh, phytochemicals that are needed for fighting infections and also preventing diseases like cancer diabetes and cardiovascular diseases uh, i think i will end here and i am open for questions now if anybody is shy to ask question you may put it in the chat also i am now look at it and answer your question without revealing your name thank you dr pradeep uh, so um, if anybody has any particular questions to be asked type in a chat box then we will you know open you to talk then you can ask questions directly to pradeep or if you want you can type just and then we can ask the question to them yeah i have already question please share your view on forced vaccination by some companies in india and their employees see we can take any information in a positive way and a negative way we all have choices and i cannot uh, give one view i give both the views there are two reasons one companies want their employees to be vaccinated so that with only with good health they can come to the company they will be able to give good uh, quality uh, work in the company second they will not be uh, infecting other people so that is the reason why they are asking forced vaccination but on the other side naturally we also have a doubt and it is natural maybe they are having some tie up with uh, the vaccination companies and that is why they are forcing so both views are there we don't know which is right or both could be right but all finally boils us to us whether or not we take vaccine or not or even if we are forced to, to take vaccine we will not be affected if we keep our gut microbiome healthy by eating the right food with the right quality so then you don't need to worry whether if your employer forces you to take a vaccine because scientific evidence shows that the vaccine's quality or the effect if it is going to be in a good way or in a negative way is determined by your gut microbiome so instead of having a fear of forced vaccination or not vaccination is immaterial when you really focus on what is the real protection okay thank you and uh, we have a couple of questions uh, dr pradeep um so one of the person has asked uh, uh, can you suggest an ideal diet three times a day which will be a high in polyphenols as an example for us see every food has polyphenols we have to understand the logic why plants are producing polyphenol let's say turmeric it has lot of polyphenols one of the major polyphenol is curcumin in black pepper there is a polyphenol in uh, cumin there is a polyphenol 
in rice, there are several polyphenols. Any plant product, sugarcane has polyphenols. Uh, uh, sugarcane juice or whatever you take from plant sources, all of these have polyphenols. Now the question is, why do the plants produce polyphenol? Like us, plants are also attacked by viruses, uh, bacteria, fungi. Now they have to produce antibodies to protect themselves. So turmeric produces polyphenol like curcumin so that they can withstand the infection. Similarly, sugar cane also. Rice also produces the polyphenol so that they can get protection. It is their antibodies, like how we have antibodies, plants have antibodies and that are these polyphenols. Now, when we take it naturally, we will be protected. But if you remove the polyphenols and take then what is that? It is like taking vaccine. The vaccine will contain water, that the liquid thing, and then all the other component. Now imagine you take the vaccine and remove all that, just take plain water. Now will you get an effect of the vaccine? Similarly is what, how you eat white rice, white, white uh, sugar, or any polished food you take. And also even if you're taking uh, a whole food, if they are very low in polyphenol, you won't get the defect. So now what is the ideal diet? Every diet you eat, morning if you eat idli sambar, or if you eat ragi, or if you eat fruits or vegetables, or nuts, whatever, you see that whether it has high polyphenols. Afternoon, you might be taking rasam, sambar, or if it, you are a North Indian, you are eating chapati or sabji. See that your wheat flour, is rich in polyphenol. And that is how Urge is helping you. Urge is helping you to identify, verify these foods. Night also. So whether you eat any food, whatever you put into your mouth, except the water, should be rich in polyphenol. That is the ideal diet. All right, thank you. Um, so there are a couple of other questions here. I'll just go through it. Um, does the YSA market offer any food products that we consume to help build immunity? Yes, we yes. do have a lot of uh, food products in the YSA market, like, you know, um, Swasa Mirzam, uh, Biotic Drink, and Turmeric, Seven Prash, and, and these are all high, uh, you know, immunity uh, built products. And we put together in a kit as well, you know, especially combined with the Bogar Thailam, it will not only help you build immunity, it will protect you um, from, you know, from COVID, especially, or any other, uh, uh, you know, pandemic diseases we have. Um, and uh, uh, the next question is, what is the right way to consume nut dry fruits? What is the maximum amount which can be consumed in a day? So we, we cannot, uh, get, nobody can define anything. Right way to consume is, you can, uh, like I consume nuts uh, with, uh, in the snack time in the evening, I take uh, nuts and dry fruits. And also uh, we uh, make prasad with uh, uh, dry fruits and nuts for uh, the puja. And then we consume as prasad, that is another way. You can mix with uh, uh, like uh, the beaten rice, aval, poha, that's another way to consume. So there are a lot of ways. You can look it uh, into rightawareness.com. Uh, we have given several recipes how to use the dry fruits. And then the amount is basically, uh, you cannot uh, consume like uh, a full stomach with these things. So in moderate quantity that is uh, digestible for you, you can take. But again, this is a big superstition. We are thinking that polyphenols are immune boosting uh, food is only present in dry fruits and uh, nuts. No, everything has polyphenols, as I explained. And the next question is, we hear that a person recovered from COVID cannot work out or perform heavy physical activity in the next two, three months. Uh, is it true? And how can we boost our stamina? See, there are a lot of uh, superstitions uh, going on. And uh, there is 
uh, i cannot uh, ridicule them or make fun as a superstition it is everybody's belief we all are right nobody's belief is wrong but what we say is we have to look into what is really the truth so uh, there is nothing like that they should not do any physical activity uh, yes if partly it is correct if somebody's uh, body's uh, heart is damaged with a severe inflammation if somebody's uh, lungs is damaged with severe infection then naturally they cannot do uh, heavy physical work because they will get breathlessness so that is true in one way but another way is that no that uh, we can avoid all this by the things that i mentioned and uh, how to boost our stamina again the stamina is based on our gut microbiome uh, the whole research now shows that everything not only stamina children's intelligence our memory is also determined by microbiome uh, in in uh, right awareness or shakti foundation website we have put all the research information even feeling good mood bad mood depression feeling happy is also determined by gut microbiome so all this comes to so now you will see many children are addicted to video games or parents or elderly people are addicted to tv video all this is because they don't have happiness in them and part of that is related to the um gut microbiome so not only boosting the stamina every aspect of our uh, nature uh, is determined by gut microbiome that is what now modern research says now how do we validate our gut uh, working right way very good question so there are several tests coming uh, on stool test so a person's uh, stool can be taken and uh, tested for gut microbiome and that is where we can say whether somebody's gut microbiome is balanced or not again you can see in the background uh, amajan uh, in uh, chennai we have started to do gut microbiome test for this aspect and second is about b12 and all that we have to understand that just by taking b12 we will be able to overcome that deficiency but there are thousands of nutrients that our body require that we don't know so instead of taking some vitamin pills and causing again an imbalance it is better to eat whole foods uh, that is what will create a good microbiome which is the right time to eat fruits after lunch or before can we eat fruits at night again there are several uh, school of thoughts even in ayurveda and siddha uh, do not mix fruit with uh, uh carbohydrate rich food do not eat in night do not eat in day all these are correct but i tell a simple logic first we have to understand if we put too many restrictions and if you go for too many rules and regulations we end up doing nothing so instead i tell something is better than nothing if we, that is why i don't put too many rules for example i mix a uh, ragi uh, i i in the morning i eat a ragi puttu because uh, this is a very tasty for me because i put coconut scrapings and i put the jaggery in that and i put nuts also in that steam it and eat it's very tasty and i'll mix with with uh, the uh, um, carbohydrate but uh, i don't have another time to eat a banana now if i follow that rule i end up the whole day not eating a banana so what i do is that's okay to mix it definitely there will be some bad effect but it will be still be better than eating the uh, uh, banana along with it this doesn't mean that i'm asking you to do wrong practices it depends upon your work schedule your lifestyle uh, try to do the best uh, food and the best timings but don't go too much into rules and regulations it is good to follow that again for eating a night or uh, this thing if you want to i eat a lot of a lot of fruits in the night again according to ayurveda and siddha it may not be right but i want i come late at uh, work these days so then i have to eat some fruits so, and i don't want to have heavy food so i take uh, fruits in the night researchers say that people who are affected by covid may lose hair not completely but three times more is a proper remedy in which uh, look at my hair 
so we will understand uh, whether we can prevent uh, hair loss definitely we can uh, prevent hair loss but again it uh, depends on uh, many factors i think a lot and uh, that stress also is a reason if we worry that also is a reason so no matter how healthy we eat that's why in unify we talk about different levels and different factors so naturally but i uh, the good quality i am using i don't get, have gray hairs so one way the good quality oil i have seen for several years almost 20 years i have been using cold pressed oil uh, and i see that i don't get uh, white hairs and because it is an antioxidant but hair fall has happened to me because of my negligence and also i don't look uh, I, i don't care about my cosmetic looks and also i think a lot so coming back to your question about a hair definitely we can uh, there are several ways to prevent the hair fall for those who vaccinated they show post vaccine then what they can do to do the overcome the side effects naturally as i already mentioned try to eat uh, the foods that are uh, rich in polyphenols and you can take uh, good supplements that's what in uh, the uh, shop awareness we uh, we are brought, we have brought the uh, swasamradam chavan prash bio drink and all but again uh, i had uh, tested all this and different brands are there but not all the brands are really having high amount of these nutrients so that is why i go for tested products how long does it take to improve gut health in kids when a child is born it comes with a good microbiome but if the mother in the pregnancy did not de- uh, do a good microbiome it could be vegetarian or there are several reports children develop autism learning disabilities children may not talk uh, in the proper age they will have problem in focusing they will have depressive moods all that the research have clearly shown uh, that is why in ancient india there are so many rules and regulation for pregnant women they cannot eat this they cannot eat that they cannot sleep this way they cannot stand this way sit this way or they cannot go out like all this restriction comes because it will all affect the child's gut microbiome so when they come with the when they come out of the mother's womb they come with healthy microbiome if the mother in the pregnancy a good uh, food and a good lifestyle but after coming then if we try to give junk food to the children then it will get quickly the dysbiosis will happen and that is why in ancient tradition to reset the microbiota or microbiome we were using castor oil thanks to gomati and ganesh for bringing the excellent nalam castor oil the traditional castor oil i think only one in the whole world is that uh, and those are good uh, uh, castor oil where we can flush the bacteria or microbiome and reset with good uh, bacteria you are absolutely right because dr bisharop chaudhary is doing the same thing influenza as a result thank you yes how to maintain good bacteria i already explained can you explain the castor oil cleansing yes it resets i just now told how often we can do it uh, once in a month or once in two months uh, or at least once in a year uh, can we get the ysa product to malaysia you have to ask the ceo of uh, ysa market uh, mr vijay uh, and he alone cannot do this uh, people have to help him to get these products into different countries and he is eager to work with you so please contact him is there any specific product choice that can ensure uh, healthy gut from childhood uh, and in uh, our ancient tradition uh, amla uh, gu that is uh, nellika uruga and uh, narthanga uruga these two are very good uh, but don't think just that alone will give it but uh, arishtam fermented products like uh, padaya sadam uh, that is fermented rice and gooseberry fermented these are excellent for gut health and the only biotic drink that you can find is again from shop awareness thanks to initiative of vijay and again uh, ganesh for bringing those products these are very good i will tell i am taking every day these products right from my uh, childhood and only when i went to us i lost them 
could you under uh, could uh, understand the importance of fruits why do we need dry fruits because most of them have preservative yes the preservative came recently the tradition way is preserving uh, dry fruits is by drying in sun or shade so there are several uh, dry fruits you can get and you can again uh, shop awareness is trying to work with urch to test for preservative free dry fruits so you can uh, buy those currently all our products are available online if you wish to have we shall make arrangement okay these days food alternative so what can be toxin time there the gut bacteria is very good in uh, detoxifying like how we put uh, toxins in our soil so many pollutants but uh, the bacteria and fungus in the soil uh, they are able to decompose it the same way i'm telling don't think just uh, cast oil and water therapy alone can rid the get rid of toxins definitely uh, water therapy cast oil will get rid of toxins but not completely good way is trifala uh, taking trifala every day is a traditional uh, ayurvedic way and in siddha trikaduga uh, or trigadugam uh, these are excellent way to get rid of toxins every day and also again uh, you have to bring the right bacteria and fungi uh, the gut microbiota so they will get rid of they will detoxify the toxins it's just like flu but uh, most of the that in a hospital we think of the treatment i already said uh, for many years now we have gone into an extreme of eating junk food restaurant food and uh, we have completely caused dysbiosis in our gut bacteria naturally that is the reason why Uh, flu has caused a big pandemic again water it is very difficult to uh, find a good quality water uh, filter water or all that boiled water is again good again uh, i put uh, herbs like a very small amount of uh, kedar nelli and uh, use for uh, water so that way it will be best one originally or organic or not again uh, urge verification does it uh how can a common man verify every product and uh, that is how uh, urj thanks to uh, the whole team to bring the urj into reality uh, many of our friends almost we have 10 friends uh, in shakti foundation who have invested time and money to bring these into service it is not just a, a it is not a business module but it is definitely to help people it is costly because of the heavy cost in uh, testing we have to pay uh, high to the lab for example recently uh, shop uh, the urjas send the samples to uh, just four samples to uh, a lab for testing just iron alone and vitamin c you won't believe 15000 rupees for the test so it is very expensive that is why so for common people either they cultivate their own food Yeah, uh, by buying some uh, land or go for real certification like Urj. Food bags, thank you. Certain for organic uh, coated with bees. Yes, so that is what is one of the uh, verification done by Urj. You can help Urj and uh, ask for. Can you verify these foods? Definitely, Urj can help. But not all the requests can be immediately be done. but with the public demand with customer demand definitely we can do that does boiled water lack prana i think that is not the topic of today so we can skip that if there are no more questions we will end here i thank everybody and also vijay and we have harish and uh, um uh, sorry i forgot swami nadan uh, who have in the background worked uh, to make this uh, program very successful uh, with the zoom session thank you everybody thank you thanks a lot uh, dr pradeep uh, thank you. definitely you know it was a very valuable session we had very informative not just the informative alone uh, we can you know we can take these pointers and then think about it and then make a you know a good decision about you know what we eat every day 
and that choice even the small smallest choice we make every day makes a huge difference in in our day to day life and that is what i got a point and hope you know everyone gets that uh, in our benefit um, next talk of this talk and uh, of course uh, you know if, if people continue to have questions you know you guys can uh, feel free to you know send it to us through email or through live chat and on our website ysmarket.com we have uh, you know um, a whole day support during the uh, you know business time and you can post the questions and and you know we continue to do more testing and and bring more awareness uh, to the people and and thank you everyone for all the customers we have you know for all the support i know when we started this project uh, you know two three years back we, we don't have any clue and right now you know where we where we are right now and how how far we traveled if you look back and it, it is a, a team you know teamwork a great team a great Uh, teamwork and right now we have a very good team you know i you know um, i i can name it you know few ramya kalaiwani kripa and those who work background you know bringing the best content and you know designs and everything and as a say team harish and everyone and apart from it you know we have a good scientist you know team to uh, look at the products and then approve it and and uh, the last not by least you know we have uh, good uh, vendors and uh, traditional farmers we have and we thank everyone and uh, this is the being the first webinar you know um, uh, uh, there will be few technical difficulties and uh, apologies if there is any inconvenience but we can you know please send us uh, all your uh, suggestions we can make it better thank you everyone thanks a lot